<laughs> and hi and welcome to baking with us <laughs> in latex or something like that i'm diddy and this is essie and we're gonna hi. bake something for you today uh, we're gonna make a carrot cake swiss roll i think it's yes. translated like that and a uh, mint chocolate cake like really chocolatey like we're gonna have um, diabetes after that <laughs> <laughs> all right so yes here we have eggs sugar butter and gluten-free flour mix here is some spices like uh, cinnamon ginger vanilla sugar and uh, baking powder and baking soda and then we have grated carrots so first we mixing uh, sugar and two eggs to a nice foam. And when it's nice and foamy. <laughs> now uh, it's nice and foamy, so, <laughs> so we can add uh, this uh, melted butter in it and then mix a little bit. Then we take it off from the machine and we add uh, flowers and spices. And shuffle with this. We want to keep a foam, so have to be gentle. Now it's nice and shuffled, so we can add carrots. It smells awesome. Now we can add this mixture to this oven tray. Now it's ready for the oven. Now you keep it in the oven 200 degrees Celsius, uh, 10 to 12 minutes, and then you cool it down. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> Now we have to throw this to there, upside down. It can be funny if I can't, <laughs> can't do that. So 
Professional. <laughs> and now we let it cool down. Now we can make a carrot cake filling where you need a uh, cream cheese. Now I have this uh, vanilla taste cream cheese because I cannot find a normal one. <laughs> so we use this. Uh, 400 grams. Then we add this uh, room temperature butter in it. <laughs> and we mix a little bit. Or not. <laughs> Till it's quite smooth. Now we add the icing sugar to it. Uh, I put uh, four deciliter because I had a uh, sweet that uh, vanilla cream cheese, but you can add more if you use normal cream cheese. And then you mix it smooth. Then the best part, taste test. <laughs> yes, perfect. Then I put this uh, filling to the fridge till our carrot cake is cooling down. Now we can add this uh, filling to the cake. Best part of the carrot cake is the filling, so in this roll you take it more than in <laughs> normal carrot cake, so that's good. Put it all over, like this. <laughs> Much filling. And then we just roll it, hopefully. <laughs> and use this paper to help you. Then you make it tight. And it's ready to go to the fridge. Now we're gonna cut the carrot cake roll. We 
you can smooth these ends to look nicer. Just cut away a little bit. And we gonna cut it to half, just like this. And then put it to a nice plate. And then you can decorate it with icing sugar. And we are done. Okay, so then we're gonna make a cake base, the chocolate cake base. Okay, so what we're gonna need is gluten-free flour mix, yes. Then we're gonna need uh, some oil buttermilk, hot coffee, sugar, one egg and cocoa powder, like really good cocoa powder, not, not some kind of drinking powder, that's, that's just shit. <laughs> then we're gonna mix all the liquids together, except the hot coffee, that, can, that comes last, not fast, but last. <laughs> So we have uh, baking powder and soda in here. That's gonna come too. And mix all together. And then pour half of the coffee in. Yeah, so coffee comes uh, in two different patches because otherwise it might be too runny and it might just kill the whole mixture. So let's not do that. Yes. And now we have nice and soft, awesome thingy right here. <laughs> then we're gonna pour this mix to the cake mold. Yes, we have a baking paper in it and I have uh, buttered all the corners, so it won't stick. Mm. Then it's gonna go to the oven, you know, eh? Then it's gonna go in the oven in 175 degrees Celsius, uh, about uh, 30 minutes or a bit more, depending on how big cake you're going to make. So yes, 30 minutes. So then we're going to fill the cake face, which is pretty good, I have to say. And first we're going to level the cake. Let's cut it to three pieces so we can get two layers of filling. So basically you're gonna start filling your cake like upside down. So this is the uh, bottom side and right here. Then we're gonna put some milk into it. So it better be like moist. I hate the word moist, but that's the word I'm gonna use. Here I have melted chocolate quite a bit and then we're gonna mix it with this 
I think the right word is curd, which is a terrible word, but in Finland we use curd a lot. So just a little bit to mix it with the chocolate. Just so we get the texture right and it won't cut. So we get that chocolate kind of. <laughs> so chocolate will be kind of creamy and not not like melted chocolate. Then we're gonna add whipped cream and take as much as you like because whipped cream is good. So it looks kind of like this. Then we're gonna add peppermint because that's what Thomas wanted. Just a few tips, tip, what few few drops? Just a few drops, because otherwise it'll taste like toothpaste. That's not what we want. And then we're gonna use peppermint chocolate because peppermint chocolate is just the best thing that there is. We're gonna cut it to small small pieces. Add it to the mix. And always do the taste test. And it's good. And then let's assemble the cake. Before assembling, you need to uh, try if the milk is actually soaked in, and it is. You can hear a little bit of what I call it, it's like smush, 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 smush. That's my keyword. And then take half of your filling and spread it in. like that and then add a layer push it down and soak you can use juices or something if you don't like milk things in here but I think the milk is now good because it's mint chocolate so if I would use like raspberry juice it would be really weird Push it down and soak. Then 
an even out the things that are trying to come out and if you have anything left put it on the sides gonna be kind of a semi-naked cake so I don't mind if the corners are showing but don't put anything on the top because the top is gonna be covered with uh, chocolate canache It's gonna be uh, on the fridge for a couple of minutes till I can make my uh, ganache and then we're gonna be ready. So yeah we're gonna make a quick ganache. We have a cream that I just uh, heated on the microwave and then we're gonna add chopped chocolate and then we're gonna leave it for a bit and then we're gonna stir it and just pour it on the cake. If, you would do, if we would do it the real way, it would like shine for much longer. But now that it's a quick one and well, we're gonna eat the cake right away. So it doesn't matter. So it looks like this, kind of like the same that the cake base thing. So we're gonna decorate the cake now. We have the ganache, it's quite, quite runny, but it's all right. And then just pour it on top and smooth it out and let it like drip over the sides. The more chocolate you add, the more like thick it gets. So you can make even thicker if you wish to. Push it little by little and it'll be good. Like that. And then you can just eat the rest because that's what we do. And then put candy, chocolates, anything on top if you wish to. I have here a uh, crushed candy called Marianne. It's a mint chocolate candy. Just sprinkle it around. And then the excess cream. Anything goes. And then just more mint chocolate. Because more is more always. And of course, Kinder Bueno, because I love them, that's why. Somewhere right here. Now, now it can cool in the fridge, or then you can just dig in, whatever you wish. And remember to eat chocolate. I'm done, thank you. <laughs> thank you for watching, and now, you can try this at home <laughs> or just be the one who eats it yes make your significant other to make it <laughs> see you soon <Bye>. whenever <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs>